On Saturday, the Corpus Christi Office of Emergency Management was informed of a crude oil leak at the Flint Hills Resources Resources location in Ingleside. An estimated 2,915 barrels of oil reportedly leaked from one of their terminals. Now, state officials tell us that they expect all the materials to be cleaned up by later this evening. Our Josh Maxwell was in Ingleside today and spoke with officials from Flint Hills to see exactly how that spill was handled. He joins us here live tonight with more. Josh. Yeah, Mike, Leslie, officials I spoke with today said that the oil spill had no dangers to any aquatic life or residents in the community, but they do say that they have rules and protocols in place to help maximize safety. We had 2,915 barrels that we think were released from this site. That's Flint Hills Resources Corpus Christi Director of Public Affairs, Andy Sines, referring to the oil spill that took place at his facility over the weekend. Between 8.30 and 10.30 on Friday night, we had some crews working here and they were able to smell and then see that we had a release coming from Tank 75 here in the background. Sign says that there were plans in place from the moment the spill happened. The containment area did exactly what it was supposed to do. Once the oil left the tank, it stayed around the tank and the, the containment area kept it all in one site. And when it comes to the smell, Sign says that crews had a solution for that too. Uh, when first responders were able to get here, we finally put some foam down. And what the foam did was it cut the emissions and the odor that were coming from the from the oil. James Duenas is with the Texas General Land Office's oil spill division. He says that when incidents like this happen, his office is one of the first to know. We did make an assessment this morning. Everything, all the free materials should be removed by this evening. Duenas says that when facilities operate so close to large bodies of water, there are certain guidelines in place that must be followed. They have to have certain plans in their program to be able to respond to things in case they have a, a problem with a spill. Now both signs and Duenas both say that if residents still smell reports of the lingering odor, to call it in immediately. That number is 1-800-688-7594. Mike, Leslie. Hey, thanks for that, Josh. And an update to the oil spill in Victoria last week. Shamrock